favorite part is just, to, you know, communicating with, with my students. I just like to know what they're thinking, what they're reading, what, are, what they're learning today, and some of their goals. I think it's good that we start instilling in our kids the things that they want to do when they get older now compared to later. So tell me where you see yourself at in, in 10 years. Doing what? NBA? But what if we don't go to the NBA? What's playing big? As a kid, I used to cut my brother's hair. And I thought I was the neighborhood, the community the barber. At one point in time, I thought that was gonna be my profession. So I used to always experiment on my, on my little brothers. I'm not too fancy with it, I'm just, just a basic haircut. Like I'm not really good with um, drawing lines, anything like that, so I just kind of keep it basic. Um, just like a nice clean cut so that the kids can, can feel good about themselves. notice is that um, a lot of kids if you know they have a haircut and they feel good they act good and when the students feel like they need a haircut they will pretty much reach out to me so a lot of you know a lot of my cutting usually happens uh, at the end of the day after school I use it to build relationships relationship with the parents relationship with the kids and just let, let the families know that you know we you know we are a community and Warner here we are a part of their families. While well, I'm in a barber shop I'm not Dr. Newton their their principal. I'm more of Dr. Newton their barber and I'm able to use this time as as a mentoring time. You know some students may express some of the issues that they're dealing with um, at home or in the community. And at this time, I'm able to listen and give them some feedback. I know when I was coming up as a kid, being in a barbershop and just to have bar barbershop conversations was always great. So and that's what I kind of utilize with my kids here. <laughs>